Texan Global School. Division using Singapore Math. This class analyzes processes to perform division between integers with two and three digit dividends and a one digit divisor. Let's remember the parts of the division, dividend, divisor, and quotient. We can also observe different ways to represent the division. Using Singapore math, the division algorithm is described on the blackboard, which we will apply directly in the following examples. We will perform the division of 42 by three in this first example. Remember that this expression can be represented in different ways to identify the dividend and divisor. In this case, we have two digits in the dividend, so we will make a table indicating ones and tens. Since we have four tens, we draw four elements which each represent a 10. Since we have two ones, we draw two elements which each represents a one. Now, the operation indicates that we must divide by three. Therefore, we first select the tens elements in groups of three. In this case, we had one 10 left over. Therefore, we break it down into 10 ones and include those elements in the corresponding section. Likewise, we select elements, but now from the ones in groups of three. Once the elements have been grouped according to divisor three, we count the groups of tens and ones. We have one group of tens and four groups of ones. These digits make up 14, which is the division quotient. We conclude then that 42 divided by three equals 14. Since there were no elements left over in the ones, it is understood that the remainder is zero. We can verify by multiplying the divisor three with the quotient 18 plus the remainder zero. The result should be the same dividend 42. In this next example, we will divide 522 by two. The dividend is 522 and the divisor is two. In this case, we have three digits in the dividend so we will make a table indicating ones, tens, and hundreds. Hence, we have five hundreds, so draw five elements which each represent a hundred. Now, two tens, and draw two elements which each represents a ten. Finally, two ones, and then we draw two elements which each represent a one. Now, the operation indicates that we must divide by two. Therefore, first select the hundreds elements in groups of two. In this case, there's an element of a hundred left over. Therefore, we break it down into 10 tens and include those elements in the corresponding section. Likewise, we select elements, but now from the tens in groups of two. Since there are no tens left, select elements in groups of two in the ones. Once the elements are grouped according to divisor two, let's count the groups of hundreds, tens, and ones. All this results two groups of hundreds six groups of tens, and one group of ones. These digits make up 261, which is the division quotient. Hence, we can conclude that 522 divided by two equals 261. Since there were no elements left over in the ones, it is understood that the remainder is zero. In this last example, let's divide 561 by five. The dividend is 561 and the divisor is five. In this case, there are three digits in the dividend, so let's create a table indicating ones, tens, and hundreds. It can be seen that there are five hundreds, so we draw five elements which each represent a hundred. Now, six tens. Hence, six elements are drawn which each represents a ten. Finally, the one, and we draw an element representing it. Now, the operation indicates that we must divide by five, therefore, first selected the hundreds elements in groups of five. In this case, there were no hundreds left. Therefore, select groups of five in the tens. Since there was a 10 left over, it has to be broken down into 10 ones and include those elements in the corresponding section and select in groups of five. Once the elements are grouped according to divisor five, count the groups of hundreds, tens, and ones. It can be seen that there is one group of hundreds, one group of tens, and two groups of ones. These digits are the number 112, which is the division quotient. As a result, we conclude that 561 divided by five equals 112. Since there was one element left over in the ones, the remainder is said to be one. Texan Global School, Global Online Learning, Knowledge for the World.
www.textingglobalschool.com.